his scent, if I may ask. Ask Watson. Well, I, I thought it was a little strange that uh, Hammond contacted me after, well, over 30 years. <sighs> Something about him. He plied me with cognac, and then he tried to ply me for information on the harpoon murder. Uh, he said it was to win a wager at his club, but uh, I had my doubts. So I sent a messenger with a note asking him to respond in writing with when he would like to meet with me uh, for some grouse hunting. And that's how we obtained a sample of his handwriting. And so then, he was so anxious for the shoot, he agreed to meet me here today, and well, now he's with you. His uh, pensions for brandy and for bird hunting, well, not uh, conclusive in themselves, nevertheless suggested that Hammond was our man. Well, it seems foolish of him to surface during a murder investigation, saying he wanted to win a wager. Well, uh, foolish indeed, but uh, it was more than just a wager. I've known Hammond for a long time, and I've always known him to be a, a cautious man with a vivid imagination. Ah, he had no part in Casey's murder, and, well, finding out about it came as quite a shock to him. Ah, but he had been at the hut earlier that evening to collect the last of Casey's stock certificates. And he was afraid he might have been seen. Actually, he was afraid he might be named as a person of interest in the murder. 